After building and flying RC aircraft for several months now, we want to save money. So how much tail can you actually fly with before you crash? Welcome to Spitfire, Spitfire Men RC. RC. In this video, you'll see us test an aircraft to its limits, eventually answering the question, how little tail do you need before an aircraft comes to its demise? In order to test this, we constructed a simple airliner model. Super realistic, as you can clearly see. And we replaced its more traditional twin tail with a blueprint with marks about an inch apart so we can cut the tail in stages. If you'd like to learn more about this aircraft, we did make a video on it. Go click on that in the link in the description. So with our test bed successfully created and abused, we were ready to go. Now, why are we doing this at all? To cover that, let's answer why an aircraft even needs a vertical stabilizer in the first place. The fin on the back of the aircraft acts a bit like feathers on an arrow. It keeps the aircraft pointing straight. Without it, the aircraft has nothing to stop the nose from swinging side to side. That motion is called yawing. The tail also gives a rudder, a control surface actively stabilizing the yaw axis of movement, something to work against. So without enough tail, you can lose stability and control authority. As we start removing parts of the tail, we're expecting a few things to happen. At first, the difference will probably be tiny, with minor movements noticeable during turns and aggressive manoeuvres. But as more of the fin disappears, this will cause the airliner to almost drift through the air, causing directional instability and causing it to no longer be able to hold a straight heading therefore making it become harder and harder to correct this with the other available control surfaces. Eventually, we'll reach a point where there simply isn't enough stabiliser left and the plane will become uncontrollable. When that happens, well, you'll see. Now we understand that with our hypothesis set, let's head out to the flying field and put this to the test. Conditions were looking sub-optimal, with a light gusty wind and noticeable turbulence. Nothing this plane couldn't handle. For the first flight, we took the test bed up to make sure everything was working as anticipated before we removed any of the tail. The question is, would it even fly at all? Right, this is the first flight with the full tail, just to show you how it flies. All right, here we go. I haven't flown this in a long time, but you know. Just doing some trimming, because it did have a pretty serious crash, so I need to adjust it. So I did do a lot of repairs and it's very windy. But yeah, you see it flies like a plane does. No rudder, need to make that clear. Very fast downwind. I mean, depends how you define very fast really. That beauty. nice this plane is fun you know it's let's not break it on landing to the uh, left and it's very very hard to land today that's fine very hard success now time to remove another part of the tail line it up properly it's literally gonna ch chop it off there it goes I'm not expecting too much performance change. It does look quite short actually now, but we'll see how it goes. Right, this might fly okay, we'll see. Ooh. There is definitely slightly less yaw stability. You can kind of tell. It's flying fine though. I wouldn't say I'd notice anything if I was just giving it like this. It looks really weird. Whose fault's that now? You... Has it got plenty of thrust? <laughs> uh, it hasn't got tons, but it's got enough. It's got. It's good for what it is. Uh, it's a bit deadly doing rolls with this one. All right, bring it in for a landing. I'm so wary about aileron failures with or elevator failures with this aircraft after our previous video. Come on. Yeah. 
We just had a prop break because we don't have landing gear, so we're gonna get an 11 by seven. This is a 10 by five. Oh, hello. We've replaced the propeller with, with a folding one from a glider. It m might work. And now we're gonna cut off another two lines from the tail to make it even more dodgy than it already is. I also had to tape on the whole front of the aircraft. Turns out I'm not very good at gluing. All right, let's chop it off. Two? Two. <gasps> Hold it. I'm not very good at cutting either. I took off slightly more, but that's fine. Here it is. Okay, well it went that way. Uh, that looks really cursed now. <laughs> Look at that. Right, here's takeoff with basically half the tail than we had at the start. Let's go. Whoa. Still flies? Different prop makes it slightly faster. Uh, let's not do that, actually. <laughs> there is still your stability. Not my stability. But your Sorry, stability. That, that. Look at the prop folding. <laughs> on an Very airliner. Careless. They should do that on real airliners. That would require having props on airliners, which might be a bit interesting. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's bring it in. Right, let's not try and destroy the, the whole front of the aircraft this time. Yeah, never mind, Wonderful. I did. You know, we're, we're actually fine. Let's cut off some more Gucci, then. Gucci, as one might say. We're gonna cut off another one now. Perfect. <laughs> like the bottom slant of the tail is now bigger than the, the top one, so that makes it exciting. Well, let's see if it flies. Yes. <laughs> Um, I, it, it's, ah, I am getting a bit of your instability now. When I bank, it kind of, it doesn't come round anywhere as quick as it did. I'm noticing, uh, noticing less drag as well. Well, we did chop a big part of the aircraft off. Yeah, you see, I, it's very slight, but when I turn it doesn't, the tail kind of drifts a little bit. It slides a bit more than it was before. Yeah. But it still flies fine. Wow. I I don't. And now for the landing. Right, it's full of, oh, the nose is proper angled down now, but yeah. Well, successful flight with barely any tail. With the airliner becoming more and more unstable and the throttle now causing significant yaw instability, would this be our last flight? And an inch is a lot. Don't underestimate the inch. Inches above average. Mm. There it goes. We'll pick this all up because we care for the environment very deeply. How concerning. Okay, here we go. Full throttle. <laughs> oh, so much your instability. Straight off to I one I cannot side. keep it level. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to attempt to turn it. Okay, we see We seem okay. I'm going to try and turn it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what did it do? <laughs> you can only turn it one way now. Oh dear. Drift, drifting. No problem. Drifting aircraft. Do you want to bring it back? I'm going to attempt to. Is this a landing attempt? It's an attempt, yeah. We can only turn it left for some reason. So if anyone has a scientific explanation for that, please let us know. I would like to know. Wow. For some reason that was the smoothest landing yet. So, <laughs> let's take the tail off. Right, uh, we're somehow still here with the aircraft. So we're gonna chop off half of this because I don't have any more lines. So I suspect this will be the last flight though. The vertical stabilizer is now... <laughs> we now have no tail. Tape. It's literally just a little bit of tape. Well, let's see yeah. if it flies. Yeah. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. I suspect this will be the last flight and ended a disastrous crash, we hope. So, no one around. 
I think we're safe. Right, ready? Mm-hmm. There it I'm Whoa. kind of in control. Never what? Mind. Uh, how have I recovered? That was a complete accident, that whole flight. With motor off, does it... <laughs> oh, there it goes. <gasps> oh! Why did you make those wow. sounds? And it's mostly fine. So it's an aileron. For some reason. Mm -hmm. It's in one piece, ladies and gentlemen. It's you know what that live. means? And the aileron? It's moving itself. You know what? Let's fly again. Was flying a plane after this crash a good idea? No. No, it was not. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. For the sake of content, we're going to now take the tail completely off. That was was a crashed flight, and it somehow survived. Even though one of the ailerons doesn't work, and the other one's moving itself for some reason. But we're just going to fly it. Knife edge, knife edge. Ooh. Right, uh, it appears it may have landed a bit harder than it could have. So aircraft definitely do need tails. So in conclusion, what have we learned? Turns out a plane does actually need a tail to fly, believe it or not, hence they have them. But were you surprised by the amount of tail we could cut off before it crashed? Do let us know in the comments section below. This video is a slightly different style to what we're used to doing, so do let us know if you'd like more content like this in the future. If you'd like to see more of this content, do be sure to subscribe to the channel and join the Spitfire Men. Now, following the death of our lovely airliner, we hope you have a splendid rest of your day. Cheerio!